Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the ice maker wire harness in a Gen Air refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a flat blade screwdriver and a quarter inch nut driver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new ice maker wire harness. The ice maker wire harness connects the ice maker to the electrical system of the refrigerator. It has two plugs. One connects to the fridge, another one connects to the ice maker. The ice maker wire harness has a built-in thermal fuse. In case the mold heater inside the ice maker gets stuck in heat mode and the temperature rises to unsafe levels, the fuse will burn, cutting power to the ice maker. In that case, the wire harness must be replaced. Let's begin by opening the freezer door. Then unload the top shelf, store the food in an ice chest, and then remove the shelf. Grab the door on the sides and lift the front end of the hinges to remove it from the fridge. Don't grab it by the handle. Push in both rails. Get inside the freezer. Using the flat blade screwdriver, remove the ice maker head cover. Use the quarter inch nut driver and take out the bottom screw. Then loosen up two screws at the top and remove the ice maker. Press on the side tabs and remove the wire harness plug from the rear fridge plug. Using the flat blade screwdriver, press the locking tab to remove the wire harness. Then remove the thermal fuse and remove the wires from the clip. This is the old ice maker wire harness next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. To install the new ice maker wire harness, let's plug that plug into the ice maker head. Then we can put the fuse into the clip. And then route the four wires into their own clip. Now we can get back into the freezer, connect the ice maker harness to the plug at the rear panel, make sure the water inlet tube is above the inlet cup. And secure the ice maker with the three quarter inch screws. Snap the ice maker head cover on. Pull out the rails. Reinstall the door on the hinges. The tabs on the sides of the door should lock into the openings on the rails. Place the top shelf and the ice bucket back in. And now, when we are done with the repair, close the freezer door, plug the fridge back in, turn the water on, and enjoy your ice cold drinks again. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site on Facebook and on YouTube.